Hello guys, Zuljan here and welcome back to another episode of Balram. I hope you all are having an awesome day today. Thanks so much for all the amazing support on the Balram series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So I'm looking for my buddy Osric. Remember his lost pig? Well, we found it. I was just walking around. I went to Fox's place to make sure I couldn't gain any more skills. And it just so happens that once you learn a skill, I guess you just kind of level up as you go. Because if, you, if I look at my hunting skill, it says I'm level 2 of 4. So I guess once you learn it and you start going up in it, you just go up in it. So anyway, I'm lo looking for Osric. Uh, it says, I found the lost pig near Fred's tavern. It must belong to Osric. I should lure him back to him. And I'm very tired, but I'm scared to warp back to my, uh, my place to sleep because I don't want the pig to disappear. So I'm just kind of looking around for Osric. And uh, that's Dudley. I know Osric's around here somewhere. Everybody's probably sleeping right now. That's Aaron. Man, I hope I don't have to wait until the morning to actually do this. Although, I could go to Grandpa's house. There's Osric. Ah, alright. So we won't have to worry about it. Let's see. Osric. I found your pig. I'm not missing any pigs, boy. What are you talking about? Oh, uh-oh, that's a skeleton warlock. Um, that's not good. <laughs> the fact that I need rest. <laughs> I'm going rest before I fight him. To heck with that. I also need to, uh, I also need to call Hans, man. Morning. All right, I'm going to be good and rested now. All right, and, uh, oh, I still need resting? Let's uh, let's eat and drink first. Eat. Also mind a bunch of stuff, you guys. I mean a bunch. Let's see. Yeah, I mind a bunch of stuff so that I can make arrows because I can't buy them anymore. All right, and let's see. I think I'm actually going to. I think I'm gonna rest one more time. Uh, no. You know what? <laughs> Apparently not. I guess. Rest is just going to have to wait until it's a little bit later, at least. Let's go back. All right. Yeah, and the skeleton warlock is there. Huh. That is, uh, that's a little disturbing. Okay, let's, uh, let's call Hans. Where, how can I... Ah, recall. There we go. All right, Hans, you ready, boy? Let's get him. No ability selected in the hunt war. Too far away. Oh, you know what? It's because by weapons I need to put my bow back on. Alright. Let's put... Uh, oh, my bow is on. Tense bow. Well, why? Hold on. There we go. It's highlighted, right? Too far away. I guess it's still too far away. All right, I'm hitting him for 82 at a time. Wow, he hits me for 210 at a time. All right, Hans. Now's your time to shine, buddy. All right, let's use blinding shot on him. Did that blind him? Yes, it did. All right, what else can we use? Um, we're going to use... Let's... What does Wolf Howl do? That's a frightening. Wolf in rage. That's probably... That's probably better. And start shooting him again. Uh oh, he teleported. Ouch! <laughs> okay, not that bad though. Can I not hit him? No, oh, no melee ability is selected in the quick slot. Fine, now it is. Oh, we got this dude. Ooh, 43. Okay, ooh, Cape of the Warlock. Got some money on him, flawless deer leather, a frost scroll, and some bones. Uh, that was weird. Okay, so that was supposedly a lost pig, but it was shape-shifted? That's kind of strange, huh? Let's see. Do you know anything about Stone Tower? He doesn't even mention anything about the Dorn Quest. That's a little bit strange. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't even know what to think about this. So anyway, let's get back to where we were. I bought some taming traps, and I also got a ton of, um, oh, safe places not usable yet, 12 out of 80 turns. I got a ton of iron so that I can make more arrows. Uh, so that should be good. Our quest right now, uh, Bornem asked me to bring him a sample of special sparkling tree he found south of his house. I did not see that. Uh, Leonard gave me the key to the necromancer's tower. He also gave me an amulet of cold protection. I might find the answers at the top of the tower. So remember where we were at? I think that is our actual, um, the way that we have to go. Let's equip this amulet since I haven't done that already. I am um, I imagine it was that place with all the ghosts and stuff that we're gonna have to go. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that I was full on arrows before I did that. Can I teleport yet? Yes, I can. Okay. Now we have to make some arrows. So um, I have to smelt a bunch of the iron. That was the plan, right? Let me grab the iron that I have left over. Um, some of you guys said I could probably smelt iron and coal together for steel, but, um, I don't think that I am ready to do that yet because I need, like, more mining skill and I'm, I don't want to devote my points to it, so. Right now, the good ores, I'm just going to kind of save for later. Alright, and diamonds too, I'm going to save. And rubies, and gold. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> There's some more silver, more coal. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so let's go to our little, our little smelter, eh? And we'll place our wood in it, and let's go for. Oh, where's the iron? There's the iron. So this should smelt up pretty fast. Shouldn't take that long. But as soon as it does, we'll make up some arrows, and then I'll be ready to go. Alright guys, I got all my iron smelted up and I decided that I was going to spend a little bit of money maybe on a recipe. So I found Winnie here and Winnie has a recipe of spicy potato soup, which is only worth 30 thaler here, and wild deer steak, which is only worth 30 thaler as well. And as you can see, the ingredients are like ripe carrots, half-baked deer meat, salt, garlic, and it can be crafted at a cauldron. So I figured I would learn these just to spend a little bit of money to have them. That way when I do get some extra ingredients, I could have some premium food. I thought that would be a good idea. Another thing I wanted to do is spend a little bit of money on gaining one more strength point. So I'm looking around for somebody that can teach that to me. If I'm not mistaken, uh, there was a couple people that offered to train me in strength before. Right now, they don't say anything about dexterity. In fact, that they say that they can't teach me, they can't help me become more dextrous. So, I imagine it has something to do with some people train one attribute and some people train the other. Like, the alchemist probably only trains intelligence, for instance. So anyway, I'm going to start looking around for that. I'm also collecting a lot more pig ear mushrooms. That way, we'll have plenty of potions when it's time to... When it's time to go in here. Let's see if any of these guys can train me. Can you show me how to become stronger? Uh, I would like to learn. Doesn't look like... Man, 500... This requires swordplay and stuff like that. Swordplay level 2. He doesn't give me the option to become stronger. Uh, handle a blade, cost 400 Thaler and 10 LP, good lord. So you can do, the, ah, okay, 3 LP, now I only have 2. He can help you increase your strength, but I only have 2 um, of the skill points. Alright, well I guess we can't learn that, but at least we got a few good things. So now I'm going to be looking for a bear. I can tame deer and bear now, um, but... Um, Sadly, the, uh, wait, what was I looking for the pig ear mushrooms for? There was something that was pretty good about the pig ear mushrooms. At any rate, the life plants are, are mainly what I need for the, uh, the heal potions and stuff. So, yeah, anyway, I'm headed down to, I guess we need to go back to that, that dungeon of sorts. And we're still quite a bit away. Also, I'm going to need a rest really, really soon. 
And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that really, really easy <laughs> without going to my safe place. So I do need to wait until it's a little bit later and then we can rest for longer. I think that's the case. I don't know. After I clear out, after I get over this clearing right here, I might just do that. Let's see here. So yeah, a bear and a deer is what I can tame on level 2. I imagine the next time we gain a level will be a little bit... Uh, oh, you can't go there. Am I stuck? Yeah, there was something for pig gears. I, I just forgot what exactly it gives you. If I go to the combine menu, let's see. Or actually, the known recipes... Simple arrows, cloth robes, nails, shovel, hoe, and that's all in other. What about simple dough? We know how to make that. Splint oil. All right. Alchemy. Uh, it looks like pig hair mushrooms and simple bottles are mana potions. Ah, uh, that's what I wanted it for. Oh, because I thought about selling those. Yeah, <laughs> if I do need money, that is a good way. I don't really want to part with my bottles or whatever, but I'll do it if I have to. That was the deal. All right. It would be nice if we ran across a bear, too. Uh, let's see where I am. Okay, so I should just be able to go south here. Oh, there's something. There's dirt pile right here. I know I miss these sometimes. And there's also this uh, this kettle over here. I'm pretty sure there's some bad guys in this area of the uh, <laughs> the woods. It seems like there would be. What's that over there? Uh huh. Black forest spiders. I knew they were around here somewhere. A fire trap and rotten chong fish. Uh, don't mind if I do. All right, let's get out of here. I don't want to fight those unless I have to. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So, where are we in relation to this thing? We are pretty close to it. I'm going to have to go to sleep like, before we go in. Because I don't want to go while I'm not real west rested. Amulet cold protection is going to help us against those ghosts, too. Uh, all right. We should be here really, really soon. I think this is the spot. Maybe. Yes, this is it. <laughs> All right. So this is what we'll do. We'll go to the other side. We'll take a rest. And we'll go on in. Now that I have the key. Well, not the key, but... Uh, well, I do have the key, right? Yeah, I think they gave me the key. I should be able to explore it. If this is what they say it is, and I still I need to find level 2 of the tower. What is this? A ghostly presence. If there are a safe distance from a ghost. Okay, it doesn't tell me what the safe distance is. You will suffer 1 to 3 frost damage each turn. Maybe not because I have this amulet of coal resistance. Alright, let's get a little bit away here. And let's take... A trip to the safe place. And we can rest. Alright. What can we rest until... We can rest until morning. 18 hours. We're gonna need some food pretty bad. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I know I'm extremely dehydrated. Okay. And as far as food goes... Let's do... Baked deer meat. All right, now we're full. As full as full can be. All right. And I know it auto-saved, but I'm still going to save on my game. All right, let's go in. Open right up. Ouch! All right, they fear. That's going to suck, man. All right, how much damage do they do? Not too much. At least they only melee. If they did, like, ranged attacks while I was feared, that would really, really suck. Alright. Ectoplasm and Ash. 
Uh, let's see here. There's probably going to be a lot of stuff to loot. Nothing in there. Oh, his spirit gets left behind? Oh, all of these things are not lootable. Some things are. Looks like this is. Oh, that's not what I wanted. E. That's what I want, to loot all. Come on, loot it. There we go. All right. Man, a preparation scroll. There's a lot. There's actually a lot of stuff to loot here. Oh, what is this? Hardened leather belt. Um. Versus chain wrist guard. Modifies armor by three. And this. Uh, let's see. Modifies armor by three. Huh. Not a whole bunch of difference to it, is there? What's in there? Nothing. Oh! What? Brain Purge Scroll, War Cry Scroll. I got a bunch of scrolls out of that, whatever it was. Alright, let's go in. I can shoot him with arrows now. And Hansel do his thing until he gets a hold of me, I guess. There we go. We did a little bit of damage to him. Just gonna have to keep our eye on the HP here. But so far, so good. It's not that bad. We're doing really, really well. There's a skeleton in here. Okay. Try not to miss no loot spots, guys. Maybe I should zoom in a little bit, huh? Also, I'm still... Am I still using my Golem Slayer? I don't think so. My Golem Slayer is like a two-handed sword. I don't want to use that thing unless it's a Golem, you know? A Rusty Sword, 115 to 150. Uh, speaking of swords, then. Alright, our sword right now does 110 to 150. So 115 to 150 is actually a little bit better. Is it a two-hander? No, it's a one-hander. Okay, rusty sword is better than short sword. Uh, kind of strange, but hey, I got a rusty armor too, so I might as well match it up. Oh, rotten tomatoes. What about this? I'm sure it's probably all the same thing. Rotten pig meat. Simple bottle. I will take that, definitely. Uh, rotten piece of cheese. Nothing. All right. I'm going to stay kind of zoomed in here so you guys can see. Maybe a couple of spaces out like that. All right. Let's get the ghost. Come on, Hana. Get him. Nice. Oh, arrows help a lot, man. Yay! Are we doing pretty good right here? 1303 out of 1420? Like, we aren't losing a whole lot of stuff. Rotten care. I imagine all of this food is going to be rotten. Uh, burnt pig meat. Some of the recipes, by the way, call for like half baked stuff. Rotten carrots. A skull. Rotten everything, man. What is that? Oh, we can light the torch. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's see here. I guess we should... We've already checked. How about this? This is going to be food stuff. Strange bread? Heavier than it looks. Restores 22 health. I'll take it. These still aren't good. Oh, I didn't mean to take those rotten. Oh, well. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we can cook up in here, too. Okay, small rat potion, ghost mushrooms, pig ears, good. All of that is good. I could use all of that. All right. How about in the barrels? Simple torches? Don't mind if I do. Lock picks, nice. Uh, can I get around here? I don't know if I'll be able to reach. No, it doesn't look like it. Rotten 
Probably all rotten stuff anyway. All right, stand back. <laughs> well, it didn't help me get into it. That wouldn't have opened up the wall anyway. Remember when I thought it would have opened up the wall? It wouldn't have. All right, let's get this guy. I'm gonna conserve a little bit of ammo on the easy things like this. Hans is holding up good too, man. These things are easy sauce, man. Since I got all of the um, all of the new armor and stuff, we got another rusty sword, which is good. That's just more loot. More loot to have. I don't know if we can go through here yet. I ne it needs a key. Uh huh. The second floor, I guess. Is that what they consider the second floor? I'm stunned. Why aren't you doing anything, Hans? You're supposed to help. Oh, and the rusty swords are coming out of the woodwork. Ah, ghost swordsman. Okay, this might be where it gets a little interesting. There's a staircase there and a chest in here. Uh, so yeah. All right, so here we go. Ah, uh, the heck, something dealt 115 physical damage to you. Um. I guess that was a trap on the door? Okay, how about... Let's do... Wolf in Rage. And I guess he used it? Okay. <laughs> oh, is he gonna kill him by himself? I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to hit him from here. Oh, I can. I can shoot him with the arrows. How's Hans doing? Not too bad. I'm hitting him with the arrows, too. Come on, Hans. You're doing good, buddy. He's almost gone. We got him, bruh! Good job, Hannah. Oh, and that was another another arrow to my face, I guess. This is some sort of um, trap, I do guess. 858, 1320. Hans is healing up. Good. Summon. Right-click to loot. That's interesting. Herbalism book? What? <laughs> That's an awesome thing. Wow. Oh, and we can make potions right here. Uh, don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and craft them up. We can create two. That works out for me. Holy cow, man. Really, really nice. Let's get one more. All right. Beautiful. What And what's in the chest? Okay. Picks. Huh. I've never really done this before. Okay. One turn closer to correct. Uh-oh. Two rights. Uh, three rights? Ah, three rights. Okay, that's how lockpicking works. That's pretty interesting. Uh, okay, what did it give us now? Ah, I see. Wow. Nine fire traps, two poison traps... A bunch of buckets and a big healing potion. Still no key, though. What about all this? Speed potions? Don't mind if I do. I guess we have to go to level 2 now. Oh, the Labyrinth. Ho-ho! Okay, maybe the key's in here. Even if it's not, this will be interesting. But that's this is going to have to wait till the next episode, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button and show your support for the series, guys. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uldrin signing off. And we'll see you next time.